Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Improv Drink Not, as it's now called. It's like Improv Drink Off, but without the drinking, because let's face it, you couldn't actually tell that we were having any alcohol anyway. With me as always, and refusing to use their voices, he is an improv teacher, an improv book reader, an improv Iser. He's John Gallagher. Yay. Yay. And with us, its special guest. You may know him as Tony Bones, Scalesal Comedian. You may know him as Tom Pullen, because that's his name. It's Tom. <laughs> Yay. Hello. Hello. And with you, as Hello. always, it's me, Joe. Yay! Yes, yes, yes. So, Very Tom, cool. you obviously Hi. know us from back when we were all at Aberystwyth University at the same time, and you were part of the Exploding Fish uh, Improv Society performance team, the Knights of Improv a lot, were you not? Mm-hmm. I, I was. Some would say one of the top five all-time members of the society called Tom. I mean, I, I don't like to put myself in that category, but... I've heard it. I've heard it said. It's also, I mean, you... it's also weird that there are only four Toms in the society, <laughs> and I'm just scraping the top five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, considering this was a society where John and I voted ourselves the best improvised sketch duo, <laughs> you, 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 you could you have guys... just declared yourself the best Tom. I considered myself king. There was no kind of actual process of monarchy within the society, but I declared it. Okay, would you like to introduce me again as the Emperor of the Knights of the Provolone? Would that be that be better or Ladies and gentlemen, the Emperor Penguin of the Knights of Improvolot, it's happy feet, Tom Pullen. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing some tap dancing, you just can't see it because of the camera. There you go. So, Good. We are going to bring for you today roughly 30 minutes of improvised sketches. And for those, we're going to need some words. So, Tom, as the guest, what's the first word that comes to your mind when I say to you words? I'm looking at some crumbs. Crumbs. Crumbs Crumbs is our first word. Crumbs. And, John, do you have a word? Uh, Yeah. Uh, Center. So, crumbs and center. And for those of us joining us for the first time, and for Tom, in case he hasn't watched the other ones, which obviously he has, we will give a countdown of all of us together going three, two, one, then say improv drink of, and from that moment, you'll be transported to a world of merriment and wonder. When you're ready, gentlemen, in three, Three, two, two, one. one. In drink of or not? That was awful. That was so bad. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, We cut to um, we cut to a bakery, um, and we see um, we see a baker just behind the till wearing his white little hat, um, and a and a customer walks in. Ah, ah. The first customer of the day. Early morning gets the worm. No. Early bird gets the morning. No. Early morning. Oh, they've left. <laughs> oh. oh, damn it. Clive. Clive. My office now. Oh. Clive, what have I told you about using complicated idioms that you don't understand with customers? I'm I'm sorry, boss. I, it's I, I always think it's good customer service and look. Just next time they come in, just ask them or say to them, "Hello, welcome to the 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 funny funny bread shop. Would you like a bread today? And if so, which one?" The funny uh, funny. Okay, the funny funny bread shop. Yep, I, I, I'm I, regretting I, that name already. Yeah, so one of the reasons I'm sort of trying to try my new thing out is because I hate the name. The Funny Funny Bread Shop. It just... 
surely it's much better if we start the conversation, you know, in, I don't know, an idiom or like a metaphor or something. The funny, funny bread shop. Look, when I decided to make bread in the shape of my favorite funny emojis, I thought, what's a better name for it than the funny, funny bread shop? Okay, well, I, I'd understand it if it was just one funny, but two funny. Anyway, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll okay, give it a look, go. here comes another customer now. Try oh. it out. Ah, <clears throat> uh, uh, hello. Welcome to the, welcome to the funny, funny bread shop. Uh, how, how can I help? So uh, I was, I was looking for some bread that is sort of, you know, it's, it's really like but some funny bread. You got mm. some funny bread. I, I, it's it's in the name. It's not funny bread. It's funny funny bread. What's funny about it? It's in the shape of a funny emoji, like in the mobile phones. Hmm. There's, <laughs> nothing, there's nothing funny about it in terms of the the sort of health and hygiene here, is there? Uh, the health and hygiene is 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 fine. Um, are you a health inspector? Are you a customer? What are you? Hmm. Oh, that was a really that was a really strong question. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Listen, you've caught me out. As you know, if you ask someone if they're a health inspector, by law they have to tell you that they are a health inspector. So, yes, I am a health inspector. Um, I'm here to check out your funny, funny bread. Make sure there's nothing, you know, no funny business going on in the uh, terms of the bacteria. You know? Well, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this right now, just between you and me. The, the health standards are fine, but I hate the name. Funny, funny bread. I, I want you to put this place under. I want you to tear this place down just for the name. Oh. And also, the manager won't let me be myself. <gasps> so you're saying that he's restricting your well-being he's restricting my yes that doesn't sound very healthy to me clive my office now oh excuse me one second oh god oh, oh dear. i've had yeah. a new idea if i try <laughs> to be funny funny in this bread shop what about if instead of a name tag you don't call yourself clive but you call yourself your favorite emoji oh. so what if you called yourself like um you're like, oh, hi, my name's monkey with hands over its eyes emoji. Oh, sir, Would that's... you like some funny, funny bread today? No, sir, that's a terrible name. You're just not letting me be myself. I, I, I can't just change my name as well. This, is a, look, this, this isn't healthy. Look, there are no other bakeries left in this town. Do you want this job? Oh, God. You know I can make bread on my own. What? I can make bread on my own. Yeah, go so, do it then. And if you're if this place goes down, I'm going to rise from the ashes of this place. Yeah, you think you're some kind of phoenix? Yeah. Nah, mate, you're you're more like a, a monkey with hands on his head. You're more like a monkey with hands on its head. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bumping into walls. Oh god. Well, guess what. The health and safety inspector is here, and he's going to tear you a new one. The the undercover health inspectors. <laughs> yeah, they're here right now. Oh. Well, there's nothing they can do about our health and safety. It's perfectly adequate. Yeah, it's fine. But you know what isn't fine? The way that you're treating this entire bakery. You know, bread making used to mean something, sir. You're right. Suddenly we cut to a series of flashbacks of uh, the first time his dad showing him to make bread, aged five. So what you got to do is you got to put the yeast in first. <laughs> and then you got to eat that dough. Okay, all right, all right, little man. Okay. Uh-huh. And then, so you got you to gotta knead it. Knead it, knead it. That's it. Good job. And now you got to let it prove. That's just where you leave it. Don't touch it. You yeah, wait. Cut to um, later on when it's <laughs> when it's proved. However, at this stage, he's much older, more experienced in the term in ways of making bread. The father is also a lot more elderly. Well, he's dead. My fiftieth loaf. 
<laughs> that's great, Paul. That's great, little one. Are you, are you still doing it like I taught you to all those weeks ago? Yep. I I'm started with the yeast. I've mm. needed it that I've let it prove. I'm Did just you remember leaving it? Oh, that's great. I'm so proud of you. I if only if only I could see your throat when you open that shop. Oh, that's so sad faced emoji. Uh, you you love them little characters, don't you, Dad? <laughs> I sure do, boy. I sure do. Uh, oh. I tell you what, one day, Dad, when I open my own bakery, I'm going to name it after your favorite emoji. The funny, uh, funny laughing face. Hey. You know what I really like? What? I really like a funny, funny laughing face and then putting a loaf of bread after that. Yeah. I want that to be on my gravestone. Ah. Papa? <laughs> uh, we cut. We cut. We, we cut back to. Uh, we cut back to the health inspector uh, and the manager of Funny Funny Bakery. They're in the office. And as you see, I had to overcome not only the fact that my dad died when I was quite young. I was five. And all, mm. but also, I had to overcome the fact that I was the only person from Brooklyn in this town, and I taught myself to be English. And make good bread. Wow. What a story. Mm. So, can you just uh, pass this and tell my employee he's not allowed to leave? You know what? <laughs> I think that uh, all things considered, I think I don't think he should ever leave. <laughs> I don't think you should ever leave either. It would be an honor. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> edit, 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 edit. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> uh. Um, do you happen to know when the, the the next bus is is due to be coming? Or sorry, the next the next bus. The next bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Could you could you tell me? It's, it's on its way. Oh. Do you know how long it's going to be, or? I might. Could you, could you tell me? Or... Let me have a look. Sorry, it's been delayed. Delayed? Delayed, delayed for how long? Indefinitely. A. Oh. A. Yes. I couldn't help but overhear that you need public transport. I, I do need public transport. You're right. Yes. I need well, to well, get maybe, to the town. Or maybe this craggly old white bearded man might be able to help you. Ah, yes. I'm glad that you described yourself for me there. Thank you. No problem. I'm blind. <laughs> Thank you for describing yourself to me. Um... So, so where, how am I going to get? Are you going to offer me some sort of? What's happening? What? I can offer you passage to the next town and beyond. <gasps> how? Jump on my back. <laughs> are you sure? I'm... Yeah. Well, I don't think I've described myself properly. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I'm a, 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 you know, well, I'm a, a twenty-one stone man. Is uh, that fat? I mean. It's not muscle. Uh oh. Yeah. And you're you're a straggly old white bearded man. I can't see that. Can you feel that? I can feel the beard for sure. Huh. 
Let me let me have a let me let me have a pinch of your of your body. Go for it. Uh, squidge, 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 squidge. Yes, you'll do perfectly fine. Now jump on my back, and I'll take you to the next town. Oh, okay. Uh, or beyond. Beyond. What's beyond, beyond the next town? To Colchester. Oh, I've I've always dreamed of visiting Colchester. It's incredible. I mean, sure. Um, I, I, slowly, I, I slowly sort of roll onto the back of this scraggly old gentleman with a white beard. Wow. Start slowly. So yep. Uh, uh, you want some soda? Yeah, okay. Here. Have a Sprite. It's warm. <laughs> How did you know? How do you know that I liked my soda warm? <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know that. The Sprite was just already warm. Hmm. Where have you been keeping it? Uh, in my back jeans pocket. Ah, God, but yet it's so flat. Incredible. Hang on. Is this new Sprite? That's right. Oh. How old is this? This is from 1998. Huh. And we're in the year 2020, so that's pretty old. That is pretty old. Are you a time traveler? I'm going to stop for a second. And I'm going to face you. And I'm facing you also. Oh, I'm glad, because I can't see nothing. Well, I had to tell you, though. I, I am from the future. My How name is... My name is Copernicus, and I and I live forty years in the future, where man and woman are all are used as public transportation. Wow, my 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 brother's name's Copernicus. Are you are you my brother? No. <laughs> ah. No. Oh. How old is your Copernicus right now? He's uh, he's about three months. <laughs> three months old. No, well, yes, yeah, three months old. Yeah. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Jump on my back again, and we'll go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to know about your future? Oh, my future. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me all about it. Well. I'm from 40 years in the future, and 20 years from now, in the year 2040, that's when we find life outside of our planet. What? That's right. Uh, wow. I mean, where, where do we find it? Well, come... well you'd, you'd be surprised. Uh, is it the moon? It is the moon. <laughs> that is surprising. But in, in like the inside of the moon. Wow. What else? What else? What else can you tell me about the future? Anything what, like? Uh, what, well, what, what, do, do I do I marry? Well, I first happy? of all, first of all, what's your name? Because I want to find out if you really are my brother. <laughs> my name is uh, my, my name's Julian. Julian. Hmm. Mm. No, uh, I'm, not, I'm not related to you. Ah. Uh, yeah, we just, no. we're, it's just we just have a common name. Ah. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I have a mission for you, Julian. What is it? I'm afraid you're John Connor in this situation. Ah, oh, shucks. Yeah, you're the last of humanity. Apart from me, of course. Okay. Wait, what happened to the what happened to the guy back at the back at the bus station? He dies. Oh my god. He has a heart attack. Jesus. I thought I'd have the heart attack considering, you know. But, so what no. do I have to do? What what, what happens? What, is there some sort of robot like apocalypse? What 
what, what do I have to do? What do I have to stop? Well, here's the problem, Julian. Uh, see, in the year 20, so what was it, year 2040, uh, the year 2050 um, yeah. is when uh, the moon people come down and try and take over the planet. But oh. I'm afraid I came 30 years too early. So I'm saving my time, giving you piggybacks of the next town until, until the until 30 years comes around and then you can lead the human race to um well to to, to armageddon oh well thanks for the, the heads up i suppose i'll um i don't know what should i what should i do so sort of uh <laughs> well that's the thing i came too early so you've got 30 minutes you've got 30 years to think about it um but just just warning you okay i guess i'll um there's nothing really you can do you can't blow up the moon because uh, you know tidal watch, waves and shit. Should I watch Terminator or something, or should you what? Watch Terminator? I don't know. Like... I guess you can watch some movies. I've never seen it. I'm blind. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess I'll, I'll. Could you just um drop me off at this blockbuster here? Yeah, sure. The last blockbuster in 2020. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there you go. Thanks. Uh, it was good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I haven't got much. I haven't got long to live. Uh, I came here at the pricey age of seventy-seven, uh, so I'm, yeah. I'm not going to survive for too long. But um, but hey, just remember my words. Thirty years on, and you'll be prepared. Thirty years. Okay. Well, I guess I'll. Do you want to watch a movie with me? Oh. We cut to 30 years in the future. <laughs> the first broadcast by the moon people. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey. Look up here, Dofus. It's us. It's the Moonies. Yeah, oh. we know what you call us, Moonies. Yeah, you're like that. Going, hey, Moonies. You want some cheese? Well, guess what? We know the moon ain't made of cheese. We know that. We tried eating it. It's just rocks. We also tried eating cheese. Turns out we're lactose intolerant. So <sighs> give us something better to eat. Uh, mm. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, numbskull. Uh, so, uh, I've, I've been waiting a long time for you to make contact. I bet you have. All those times you've been coming up to our beautiful moon, sticking flags in it, poking us in the head. Well, we're annoyed. And you're could... about to be a dead if we don't get some... some kind of delicious baked produce. <laughs> That's dairy free. That is important to note. I will reassure you this, and I'm going to stress this repeatedly: dairy allergies, all of us. Serious. That's uh, pretty. That's it's pretty funny considering that they, uh, you know, they, they they think that the moon's made of cheese, right? Sorry. You think that's funny, do you? Does oh, that make you laugh? Gone. Does that make you chuckle? Go ha ha, funny, funny. <laughs> Nah, man, this ain't a funny, funny situation. This is deadly serious, serious. Can, can you hear me now? We can hear you, yes. So, uh, we've got a selection here. Would you like, uh... God, uh... Some... Why well, have we only got cheese? What? Uh, we've we've got some bread. We'll take that bread. It's brioche. We don't know what that means. We're not from France. Uh, uh, so we'll eat it. Give it to us now. Okay. Yum 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 the milk wash on this bread. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's Becca. <laughs> no. 
Uh, we we cut to a we cut to a doctor's waiting room. All right, I'm uh, Mr. Munskin. Mr. Munskin. Uh, that would be me, Michael McMunskin. <laughs> okay, Michael McMunskin, do you want to just come into the room, please? Yes, please. Okay, All right, just take a seat. Just take a seat in my big chair, just there. Mr. McMuskin. Uh, um, oh, thank you for seeing me on such short notice. No problem. How can I help today? Well, you see, my skin has become quite dry and flaky. Okay. Um, like a fine powder, you see, it falls upon the floor and off my body. Okay. Um, you sure that's not dandruff? No, no, for it comes not just from my hair, but from my chin, my armpits, my general stomach area, and from my knees. Oh, okay. All right. Do you mind if I take a look? Yes. Right. I mean, no, no, go ahead. Okay. All right. So, um, are you getting much work as an actor these days? Yes. I have performed two acting roles within the past month. One in which I appeared as the role of man who spins board for sandwich shop outside of sandwich shop. Cut to uh, that scene. Sandwich shop, oh, sandwich shop. Come into the sandwich shop. Oh, he's it's so over slow. There. It's over here. Sandwiches, they fill you with cheer and bread and cheese and ham and tuna. Come and back. tomatoes. <laughs> and my other role is as Lady Macbeth. Cut to that. <laughs> Out, damn spot. Um, I don't know any other quotes from wow. this. That's amazing. <laughs> Come back. All right. Well, uh, Mr. McMuxin, um, it appears your skin is falling off. Um, no, but I do so love having skin. Is well, that the only thing you would do, Doctor? Well, some I form can... of skin glue? Um, Perhaps you could loan me some of your excess skin? No, that's that. That's not how it works, Mr. McMuck's skin. I, I'm afraid you'd... Well, no. I'm afraid you'll never be able to act again if this continues. But surely there must be roles for skinless men. I could play a, I could play a, a flayed corpse. Yeah. Or a man who's lost all his skin. Or like, Lady Macbeth. <laughs> right, yeah, you can do. It's just, it's just with, with, with more, the more that you do, the more skin is going to fall off. Uh, until you are literally just going to be muscle, blood, and bones. Are you saying that if I wish to save my skin, I must give up acting? I'm going to have oh, to give up God. everything. <clears throat> it's going now. No, look. As my hand doth become but sinew and bone, <laughs> uh, we, we we cut to a we cut to a, a rehearsal um, in the theater. Uh, it's like okay, guys, really nice work. Um, uh, hey, Toby, uh, really really nice uh, with the uh, with the monologue. Just just remember to you know speak a little louder. Um, okay, boss. Thank you, Mister McMussin. If you could if you could stop if if, if your skin could stop coming off when you're in the middle of the scene, that would be great. Also, put clothes on. <laughs> Listen, boy. boy. I have not been treading these boards for 50 years for someone to tell me that my brave and experimental acting choice of losing all of my clothes and skin within Act 1, Scene 1 of Hans Kafka's Metamorphosis isn't a right choice. 
especially when I am not even playing the role of Jago Samsa, but his father. It is a metaphor. A metaphor for the crumbling relationship of this family. Yeah, I, I get that. It's just, you know, it's even even when you're on the sides, it's just there's skin and gooey blood, dead skin yeah. just all over the place. What are you saying, boy? You don't think I give? I would give every ounce of my blood, sweat, tears, skin, and come to this theatre? I would. <laughs> that's that's another thing, Mister McMurk said. We found we found a lot of cum. <laughs> you know, it was all in dressing room one. <laughs> you know, it's the only way to christen a dressing room and escape the curse of Macbeth is to come somewhere. <laughs> Fuck, I said it again. Gonna have to come somewhere else. <laughs> right. Open up the disabled, Luz. I'm going in. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I realised that this was a problem before you were shredding your skin. <sighs> oh. All right, better open the disabled loop for him. No, no, it's fine. I realize my time is done. We'll see. Life is but a stage and all men are players. And in the time, a man plays five parts. First, the infant gaping at the mouth, crying out for his father's bread. Then, the boy, the schoolboy, getting wrapped on the knuckles by teacher and awaiting the, the young man, the twenty stoner, uh, unaware of his destiny, yet charging towards it upon the back of what might be himself in many a year. Then comes the older man, the working man, the blind man, thrown back in time. And then finally, in his ripe old age, he performs his final role, that of the skinless retiree, shedding everything that he once was and moving into a retirement village somewhere outside of Colchester. My God, he's he's melted. I must go now. The theatre needs me. Oh no, he's coming everywhere. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We open on a chicken shop. So we're going to talk about the big chicken. I mean, are we going to talk about the big chicken? So you keep calling it this. I feel like I've gone through it so many times. It's a turkey. Okay. But so, why, why do we have a big turkey then if it's a chicken shop? Are we selling chickens? Are we selling cooked chicken? Is it a turkey who's selling chickens? Just explain the mascot to me. So, look, the mascot, it's like, it's like kind of, we, we sold it to our, you know, we, we got some social media experts in and they told us a little bit about, you know, what sells. And they were oh, saying... Social media, sorry, can I meet one of these social media experts? Yeah, okay. Um, uh, Jenkins? Jenkins, yeah. come, in, come, yeah. come in here, please. This is yeah. uh, Jenkins. He, uh, so, look, and just look, Collins just not adequately explained this to me. Why is the mascot of this chicken shop a big turkey? Yeah, because turkeys are cool. But what does a big turkey have to do with chicken? Because turkeys are cool and they kind of look like chickens. It's kind of like a bigger sister of a chicken. They're in the same family. So are we to believe that this turkey is essentially a poultry traitor selling its chicken brethren to it their deaths? Yeah, he's got sunglasses too. Oh, of course he has sunglasses. Mm. He's a cool but... turkey. Listen, um, 
David, I'm not really too sure if I can have this type of back and forth with my employees. I mean, I really like the fact that, you know, you're really pushing it forward, challenging it. But I think, as Jenkins said, he has sunglasses on. So I feel like you should have known that already. I don't really get the... I don't really get where the confusion is coming from. It's... Hey, I got the whole backstory. The turkey, he goes into a chicken hen shop. Well, not a hen shop, but a place where the hens live. And he's like, hey, you guys want to spend your retirement in this in my retirement house and then it turns out to be a giant kitchen and then the turkey uh, cooks all the all the chickens who think they're safe and then he sells them to customers and he's also got sunglasses and a, and a hat backwards so yep. so your mascot is essentially the sweeney todd of the poultry world yeah the <laughs> huckster forcing his friends into in, into an abattoir yeah. in order to profit off their debts. He's, yeah. the, Ted, he just, he's, the, he's the Ted Pun he's the Ted Bundy of, of turkeys. And how is we this just, going to sell chicken? Well, I mean, look at it however you want to. All I'm saying is we just got a pilot approved on YouTube Red. So you know, I mean we're really going places here. Okay, first off, if Worry if you go and approve it on YouTube Red because that hasn't existed for a year or two now. It's YouTube Premium because they worry too much that YouTube Red sounded like a porn site. Jenkins, what does he mean? What, do you, what does he mean? I thought we had the pilot, no? Uh, 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 uh we, we cut to um, we cut to the YouTube studios where uh, Tom's character's in, um, and he's talking to one of the producers. All hey, right, come on, time is money, money is time. I am bored already. Tell me, what, what do you think? Okay, so, um, so, chicken. Uh, uh, chicken, everyone likes chicken, right? You like chicken? I, I like chickens, yeah. I got three at home. Everyone loves chicken. I tell you, how, how about, like, when you know when you're watching, like, adverts like KFC and it's like, you've got Colonel Sanders there with his, you know, his white mustache. He's, he's always all got his white hair. And has, okay, imagine him, but instead of, a southern, you know, a sultry southern gentleman. Imagine a turkey on a skateboard. <laughs> with, with, um... We'll put you on YouTube Red for sure. We'll put you on YouTube, YouTube Red. Hey. We'll put YouTube you on YouTube Red. Red. Wait, I've got an idea. YouTube so, Red. I think I've worked out where this goes. Not chicken wings, chicken dabs. <laughs> it's little chickens in this shape, and that's ah. what we. That's what he sells. He's selling dabbing. Wait, can, <laughs> the, hey, uh, is, it okay, is it okay? Is it okay if I talk to my associate for one second, just for the two of us? Sure. No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I need to talk to my associate, not the guy who. That's who's, fine. Oh, not, sorry. Yes. Not, not this guy who's pitching us the idea of this fucking turkey. All right. Sorry, could. He's sorry, fucking, he's buddy. Could you, could you take your Jenkins out of the room? I need to talk to my Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> Jenkins, come on. Let's let's just wait outside. Oh, Jenkins, tubular. What did you need to say? All right. Obviously, YouTube Red doesn't exist anymore. So I'm just thinking, we give him YouTube Red because he thinks it still exists, but instead we just steal his idea and then we can do whatever the fuck we want with this turkey. YouTube Red hasn't existed in like two years, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess we could just give him the whole name of the network. <laughs> <laughs> Should we sign the paper to make him CEO of YouTube Red? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come back in. <laughs> Congratulations. You're the new CEO of YouTube. Oh, I'm the new CEO of YouTube Red. Oh my gosh. Guys, I, um, I'm just going to sign here. Chicken shop. <laughs> we can't so you're saying chicken to shop. me that you're the CEO of YouTube Red now, but also that YouTube Premium 
own both the rights to the turkey mascot and this chicken shop. Yeah. Yeah, but, I, but I'm the CEO of YouTube Red. You're the CEO of a defunct brand. I mean, you say defunct. I say defunct. Hey. Am I right, James? Hey, ring, ring. Uh, oh. Yes? Uh, oh. Hello, it's me. Uh... Mr. Pennyless, and I'm the CEO of RedTube, the pornographic site. <laughs> oh. Hi, uh, you're speaking to um, speaking to Barry Burton, the uh, the, the CEO of uh, YouTube Red. Oh, well, I've got a bone to pick with you and your YouTube Red. Right. It sounds too much like RedTube. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Sorry, I'm, I'm, call I'm, going on. I'm just, I'm just going to add someone to the line. Yeah. Hello, yeah, it's, it's me, the CEO of RoTube. <laughs> I'm here to retroactively sue you for the fact that we've just decided to make RoTube red. Uh, and we've decided uh, our please. idea came first. Oh. Glad to be with you. So you better give us many money, or we'll we'll report you to Mr. Putin. I um okay um. <sighs> oh uh, hey, wait! Do I hear the sound in the voice of my good friend, the CEO of Red Tube? Yeah, uh, yes, hey, I didn't even say a thing. <laughs> I thought I heard the sound of you going ah. I know oh, that ah anywhere. You heard me breathe. Yep. How how are you doing? Um, I don't know. I'm good. Uh, ring, ring, Yo. ring, ring. Oh, oh somebody else. I'll patch the line. Line. <laughs> Ring, ring. Hello. <laughs> hey, it's uh, it's it's uh, Mr. Stevenson. Uh, I'm in charge of the uh, the central line of the uh, the London Underground. So you, <laughs> uh, I'm in charge of the red tube line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm suing you, motherfucker. What, what, what do you mean? I just. I, I'm just oh, this to you of YouTube Red. No, I'm oh, ring, 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 ring. Oh, oh no. no. Who's it now? Ling. Hey, it's not Hi. Hi, it's, um, it's me, the CEO of uh, Nutritional Yeast. Otherwise known as it by its uh, colloquially shortened version of Nooch. So we're suing you because we recently launched a cooking-focused streaming channel where we did a lot of baking called Nooch Tube Bread, and we're suing you. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay. Um, uh, uh, okay, so... Um, right, uh, uh, ring, so ring, 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 ring. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to add someone else to the line, okay? Hello? Hey, uh, I'm in charge of um, uh, Funny Funny Bread. Um, <laughs> uh, hi, I'm, I'm in charge of Funny Funny Bread. I, I, yeah. I work just opposite you on the high street. Um, yeah. Oh, I can see you. Hi. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Um, listen, um, I've got a couple of employees here who are trying to escape. Um, if you see any of them, do you mind just like bringing them back to me? It's just a reminder. Uh, you, you don't want to sue me for anything? <laughs> no, why, why would I want to sue you? Oh, don't worry. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at, I'll look out for those employees. Okay. Um, uh, bye. Hey, 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 what's the name of your company again? Um, well... I mean, we used to be called we used to be called Mr. Turkey's Chicken Shop, whereas now we're we're known as YouTube Red. YouTube Red, that's my daughter's name. I'll fucking screw you. <laughs> no. Edit, oh, edit, 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 edit. <laughs> that's the show. Wow. <laughs> And it all wrapped up so beautifully. So, there you go. Yeah. Oh boy. What have oh. we learned today, kids? Um, YouTube Red is no longer a functioning website. 
Yeah, but YouTube Premium is and has plenty of great original content on there. I can recommend myself, uh, Rob Hubel's series, Do You Want to See a Dead Body? And yeah. nothing else. That's literally the only thing I watched on YouTube Premium when I had a month of it. Oh, wow. mm. Well, uh, guys, I don't know if I've told you, but uh, I've got a little inside connection to, uh, to the YouTube Premium. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well... <laughs> If you want to ask Tom more about these inside connections he has, Tom, where can the w viewer at home find you? Oh, they can they can find me uh, in lockdown in uh, in my flat. So that would be one thing you could do. Um, yeah. You could also uh, follow me on some of my social media, which is Instagram, Tom Pullengram, at Tom Pullengram. Follow me on there. You could uh, just type in Tom Pullen. You'll probably find me. I'm the ginger one. There you go. And you can find me at at not Joe Ronchka on Twitter. That's N O T J O E R A C Z K A. And John? At one board man on the Twitter. And that's B O A R D, not R E D, just to clarify. And you can also find Improv Drink of on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash improv drink of. And we also have a coffee page now. Yeah. If you've been enjoying this and you've thought, hey, I like those swell dudes, I'll throw them three pounds, which is a ludicrous price for a coffee. But Ugh. you can at our page at ko-fi.com forward slash improv drink of. And for the next three hours, one pound of those proceeds will go to Tom. Yes. Following the recording of this, not the release. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> well, um, Tom, as you may know, our previous uh, sign-off was, of course, keep drinking responsibly. But as yeah. we didn't actually really drink any fluids beyond, I think, water and tea during this episode, I'm going to let you say, what's your uh, pitch to us? Pitch us your best sign-off for this episode. And as always... Keep on trucking. Bye. Bye. Bye.